Lelo agi de papa o kula. Tui agi de pito o kahotu. Agi de papa sau o kolo. Agi de papa ihi o mahuta. Agi de papa o takuati. Kia ora, kia ora koto kato to a toku ingoa ko Ernestina Pukuia Bonzu Maro. On the show for Air Two Rise Above, we give real, raw, and relatable stories coming from our community, our people, and youth. So make sure you tune in live. Ata wai wolo. Welcome back to PM and Cox Air 2 Rise Above. Yes, we're in the studio. There's a lot of us here today, but it's not about me. It is about the youth today. If you remember last year in 2019, we had the Do Good Feel Good Youth Youth Group Sorry, come into the studio to speak about what Mahi they're doing around our communities. And I know now they've got an Odahu group that has just opened up. And I want to hear more of that. So I'm going to stop talking. We're going to go around. Welcome back to ET Rise Above. We're going to go around, get a feel of who of our family members are in here, which suburb they are representing, and how has the change been for do good, feel good youth. So we're going to start with my brother over here. You'll go around. <laughs> so my name. Yeah, just your oh. name and where you're from. So my name's Aaron. And um, I'm from Mangri 275. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, um, yo, what's up? My name is um, William Avatel. Um, but you can call me Wills. Yeah, Mangri East 275. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Angelina P. I'm from Mangri. Nice. Our sister for the night. Um, hey everyone, my name is May. I'm actually from Onehanga, but mm. I've grown up around Mangri and I'm in and going in and out. I'm visiting family and everyone here. Fantastic. Nice. What's up, fam? My Bang. name is Fainu and I am also <laughs> from Mangri. Malalele everyone, my name is Tina and I'm from Otara to Seven. Yay! Yay! What's up everyone, my name is Dean and Two Seven Five. all the way. Hey. Hello everyone, my name is Kana, I'm, um, I'm from the island of Cook Island. Oh. <laughs> I came um, last week, uh, I'm from Mangri Two Seven Five. <laughs> and our last queen. Hi guys, my name is Emily. I'm from Mangri and I'm also Samoan, Fijian, European. Hey! Give it up, give it up. So, yes, we have been having an epic year at Do Good, Feel Good, but I want to know what's been happening with the youth group lately. You know, you've got some initiatives that's been ha- uh, happening throughout the year of 2019, but also the new initiatives that have been happening for this coming month of January and throughout the year. So I want to start off what's been happening with Do Good, Feel Good. Here we go. And action. <laughs> uh, now, yeah, we got a um, tag tournament coming up. Uh, it's next month, I believe, mm. uh, 15th of Feb, uh, to register your team. Uh, um, to register your team, the link. Uh, so if you guys follow our Instagram page, um, we'll try and uh, DGFGNZ. NZ. Um, the link would be in our bio. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for our um, active squad. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Epic, epic, epic. So anyone else have any other initiatives that have been happening with Do Good, Feel Good? Um, actually, before the tag tournament, we have a sports duel in Odahu. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a one-day tournament, um, two sports, basketball and volleyball. Um, starts at 10 a.m. to 3.30 at the Odahu Recreation Centre. Uh, it's a free event. Uh, we have a few teams already signed up, but we're still taking in teams. Um, I think we close Wednesday, Wednesday mm-hmm. 5 p.m. So we've got two days. So still got time, yeah, still got time. <laughs> just yeah, so it's, it's it's a chill tournament get your family and friends together um just come and have fun it'll be cool shot says yes anyone else yes another thing happening with odahu squad mm. um we have an odahu recruitment Yay. on mm. february the 19th um so yeah, if you're passionate about working with youth empowering youth um 
and specifically um, wanting to create change in Odahu, mm-hmm. um, February 19th. And like, I wanted to ask you a question as well. Like, what got you interested in joining uh, Do Good Feel Good? Oh, it's like a trying to sing here (laughs) but like what made you want to like join this group the energy I guess Um, I followed the Instagram page before I um, I came to the Odoho recruitment and I just loved the energy um, amongst the youth that were already (coughs) in Do Good Feel Good and I just wanted to be a part of it (laughs) I wanted to be with the movement and yeah it's just inspiring What's something you're looking forward to um, this year? Of do good, feel good. Hmm. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> um, I guess just connecting, yeah. connect, connecting with other youth. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question as well because you came last year, but. What has been, what's been changing since the last time we've been in here? Um, I think we've grown a lot more, um, not only as a movement, but as leaders. Um, I've seen just a shift in leadership within our different squads. So we have five squads now. Um, Nice. Top squad who solely focuses on, um, like grassroots level. So in our community, which Fainu has something to share about. She's going to... Pop out somewhere. Short, yeah, short. she's got quite a few things. Pardon? Oh, oh, Aaron will talk oh. about. Oh, I knew has to well, it's been laughing. <laughs> um, we have Active Squad, who's all about creating positive change around um, sport, recreation, and play. We have our Youth Voice Squad, who um, focuses on amplifying the voice of youth. We have our Creative Squad, who's all about creating safe spaces around creative arts. Um, our Order Who squad, mm-hmm. um, they want to change the narrative of Order Who right. and what people um, see Order Who as. So they want to create um, a difference in that space. <laughs> and we have a few other things that I would like our squad to talk about. Um, Let's go. So okay. Aaron, final. Aaron and final. Sina. Sina. Mm. Dean. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Just gonna get up and dance. Oh, alrighty. So um, from Top Squad, um, we have our recruitment, um, but early for the streets and Emery, Frisian, Deborah, and um, Chen. But um, so if you think you're a leader, come join. Mm-hmm. But um, from the ages of 14 and 17, and um, yeah. Sure. El sister at the back there. Uh, we're also recruiting young people in Wedi Manuka. Oh! So, um, if you want to lead change, um, develop your leadership skills and give back to your neighborhood. Um, <laughs> we have recruitments on Wednesday the 12th, 6.30 p.m. Next month. Yeah. Mm. And we're looking forward to meeting everyone. Come through. Join the fam. Mm. Yeah. Epic, epic. <laughs> See. And also, in terms of new groups coming in, we have mm-hmm. our box recruitment as well so this is Fox. yeah so it's sort of like fill my brain it's our musical kind of right is that a new initiative? initiative yes um it's for something exciting coming up later right. on this Big year but through. something that uh we're not going to talk about now mm-hmm. we're going to wait for the time to be right secret and secret <laughs> if i can yeah, anonymous just just out. Out. so we have our recruitment coming up in march on mm-hmm. the 9th and that is open to anyone keen in music, like music, singing, if you're like choir involvement, come through. Wow. So this open is for ages 19 to 24. Okay, one more question before this goes. So it's kind of like an opportunity for those who are in like music, or if you're wanting to sing, yeah. or yeah. like me, I can't sing right now because of my voice, <laughs> but it's kind of like a platform for those who want to yeah. get into this. Singing, com- and is it for any ages or? Um, 17 so to 20, 19 to 19 24. To 24. Oh, 19 yeah. to 24. Yeah. Okay, I turned 20, I'm 24 this year. So <laughs> That's okay. If I'm I not. join. <laughs> You so, look 19 anyway. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Tina, you don't qualify. <laughs> Sorry, you're, you're out of the picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I I feel t- <laughs> Sorry, your birthday, no, your passport doesn't say that. It's 24, <laughs> so. You said it's 24. I'm 24 this year. So you can still count. 
<laughs> what if you're young? You? Sorry, man. You're on the old bag side. <laughs> Alright. One more from me. Also, we're also establishing our Pepitoe squad. Yeah. So how many squads now? Like I feel do good feel good it's taking over all the youth Five. and Okalani. Probably Five. uh probably around eight to ten. Eight to ten. Squads. Squads. Right. Oh my god. So what's the coming two months we'll probably have eight established and up and running. That's epic. I want to hear from someone about their journey being with Do Good, Feel Good, because we do have some youth that are out there or like young people that are out there that may be looking for a group to feel comfortable. And I already feel comfortable with you guys. Like I know I'm older than you, some of you, but sometimes some people just want to be with a group that they can be their full, full authentic selves. Like, can we hear from someone for like how their journey's been? Like it can be short, it can be a long story, it can be, but how has it been for you being part of Do Good, Feel Good? Because it's all about, I guess, empowering others to find their light or find their passion. So how's it like being for one of our family members here? <coughs> I'll just say something. Um, I've been a part of Do Good, Feel Good for three or so years. Mm -hmm. um, I came to the last radio I remember your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I guess like one of the sorry, what was your question? Uh just your journey. My of journey. Oh, it's been. Um, my journey's been great with Do Good Feel Good. It's just like all positive vibes all around. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like amazing leading change, like disrupting systems of like people who mm. who you can connect with, and especially like people who are from your community too. Yeah. And like when you say disrupt change, it's kind of like um, bringing like the new movement in, or like how do you see change? Sis. Um, so like in terms of change, we're, we're wanting to challenge that narrative that within South Auckland there's all this negative stuff happening and the systems that are working against us as mm. youth. But within Do Good Feel Good, we're wanting to challenge that. We're wanting to create our own narrative to the truth behind who we are, what we are about. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, with us, <coughs> I know like the majority of us is a PI group. Like, is it open to any cultures or mm -hmm. anyone that's within the neighborhood of South Auckland? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. I say yes, because um, if we're trying to change a narrative of South Auckland, we can't try be real picky with what we have we have to be um open mm. um and engage with anyone that comes mm. our way and i think if we have a platform like that just real transparent about everything then you can get further mm. as opposed to Being if you're people. creating your <coughs> own like narrative about people because they're not pi then what does that say about the movement kind yeah. of thing yeah so yeah. true and our boys i feel like our girls have been i know there's a lot of wahine to <coughs> in here <laughs> But what has it been like for like the journeys for our males out here? Because, you know, I, what I love about Do Good Feel Good is like it's for both mm -hmm. like females and males. Like there's leaders from different avenues, perspectives. Like you can be a leader just by, I don't know, if you love science or like you like rugby, you like netball, you like dancing, like you're leading in your own way. Like how's it like been for our male leaders like out here representing our suburbs? Um, so for me, um, what Do Good Feel Good has brought out of me is confidence. Um, uh, growing up in South Auckland, I, I didn't really talk that much to you, um, uh, to anyone really, um, because there's a perception that if you're going, if you're a man and you're going through something, mm. you got to be a man. You just got to take it. Mm -hmm. And for me, this our group has has helped me. Um, just talk about what I go through, um, and and just um, just battle myself to become a better version of myself. How the hell? And have you seen or like you've been around groups that, you know, youth are struggling today, and we do see it. That's kind of like behind that, but mm -hmm. you make this group like fun in a creative way to like draw our youth in to be like, hey, you're not alone. 
Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if you're wanting to do something, you can actually join a group to find that. And are we seeing that movement happen within our males? Of course. You know, like, um, I mean, I just joined like a year ago and a half. And um, since being with Do Good, Feel Good, like, I've met dudes from the hood that like, I've mm-hmm. never even met, you know, like, for the whole 18 years of my life I've lived there. Never seen their face until, what, that one year ago? So it's just a lot of connection, vibing, and everything. Yeah. Love it! Um, yeah, clap for me, man. <laughs> yeah. What about the family? Because, like, oh, yes, the bad. youth, but how important is it to get mm-hmm. our parents to back us up onto this? Because I know, even at the youth space for Odahu, like, they won't just bring their kids there without them knowing what is actually in the youth space. Like, I see this as a mobilizing youth group because you're not just in one spot. But how have your parents or how have you, you know, convinced our parents to be like, actually, this is how you can actually bring it towards a family vibe. And it's not just for the young people, but it's to mobilize a whole kind of community. Yeah. How's it been like? Um, So in terms of my parents, um, they've been uh, quite supportive, I guess. Mm. Um, there's um, there's a group called One Love where my parents um, are with One Love, which they fall under the course collective, which uh, we're under as Google Feel Good. Mm. So my my mom is um is in that as in course collective. Oh, part of the collective movement. So and, um, parents are involved with that as well? Yep. Mm-hmm. See, my mom has her own squad. <laughs> oh, you were going to say something. <laughs> um, She's in a squad with also Aaron's mom. Hey. <laughs> See, um, you work on a six. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess they've just been quite supportive uh, on my mom's side. My dad, uh, not, uh, I, don't, I don't know it's on my dad's side, but yeah. it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, my parents have been quite supportive. The mama's got their own type of thing happening too. Well, wow. is that called the mama's squad? Or mm-hmm. yes. The mama's squad, mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. They're, um, they're working more of safety in the neighborhood for the kids and that. And so they got their own little just happening around in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. in the community. Love it. What else have I missed, ma'am? I know you guys are not just doing initiatives, but you've been getting a couple of awards as well the do good feel good i've been seeing you at events how's it like going to these governmental like events i see it on the instagram page sometimes i just screenshot it and <laughs> put it on our new event page as well but what is it like being around these events where you're actually promoting south Auckland, ripping our neighborhood to be honest i guess it's like just having a presence in your hood mm. um and then having like your whole community come in and then like enjoy that thing eh? like see for our squad active squad we do a lot of sport pop-ups um just like every other squad they do like dance pop-ups and all that Mm -hmm. and um hold like a little conference meeting where youth can come and just speak their minds and you know like it's a safe place where they can do it eh? so like i just like that eh? it's just all about Mm -hmm. that i guess one word i'll say Compassion, eh? Aaron yeah. agrees. Yeah. And the whole thing. <laughs> nah, <gee. laughs> Compassion, G, straight off. Anyone else have a view? In terms of events? Yeah, like, you've been around, you've been, like, from last year, I've been seeing you going to more events yeah. than just around Mangere. Mm-hmm. You, know? you guys are going to, like, events outside of our neighbourhood, which is quite empowering. Um, we had an event out in West Auckland, um, near Westgate, and it was a homelessness mm. symposium, and we were honoured to be the keynote speakers there, um, which I was there, and Dean, um, and I think the best thing is being able to share our story and where we've started, um, and also to where we've grown, mm. um, which is now, but at the same time, we also have to protect ourselves as young people because um, you can be easily persp- persuaded by things around you or and that kind of thing, which is why I love our um, 
systems innovator, Killian. Um, Killian! Where Shout are you? <laughs> he's out there. <laughs> um, but like he's taught us a lot of that about protecting ourselves, but at the same time being able to have that um, passion that we can share with the world and with our other communities who we are, mm -hmm. um, as authentic as we can be. And so I think that's the best thing about these events we go to is uh, we can just be ourselves and um, no one can really try say anything. And um, what we're validated by mm -hmm. is our youth voice, not what people say. And mm. I think that's the best thing out of it. Love it. Mm. I feel like everyone's given their view, but I want to hear from you, my brother here. Mm. How is uh, How has your experience been with Do Good, Feel Good? Uh, so with me, I've been in Do Good, Feel Good for just over a year, nearly a year and a half. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, from the first night I met Killian, I knew this was something to be involved in. I knew it was something that South Auckland needed, um, that news that, that the world needed, actually. But um, yeah, just the whole cause of change, letting people know that we're not what you think and that mm. we are actually full of talent, love, culture, speak, speak, mm. etc. Um, yeah. Epic. Awesome. Okay, anything else coming up for Do Good, Feel Good this year that you want a whole community to know about? Because um, this is not the last time that you're going to be coming on. But let us know. I want to know more, please. <laughs> so, um, with the Creative Squad, uh, we have just recruited some new members um, and they will be taking over our Creative Slams, which was an event that we started last year. And I'm not going to say too much about it, but just be on the lookout on our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. You'll know what's up. Um, family event, come through. It'll be fun. Nice. We'll like it. If I choose. Anyone else? Before I give it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else have anything to say about this group? Pretty much shy, I could see over here. These guys were talking of <laughs> really around and now bang, it's like gone quiet. You know, it's amazing to see that South Auckland has developed over the years from, from our upbringing. To be honest. Uh, is there a squad out West Auckland side? Because that's where <laughs> I'm at, so. Is there, or is this more of South Auckland focus? Because this is where the hub mm -hmm. of the Pacific, is this what, what you guys, you, it sounds like that you guys come from, there's different uh, ethnic backgrounds. Why couldn't you guys use the church as a group to form that do good, feel good? But did you guys feel like you'd rather go out into the community, open something more bigger, whereas mm. at the church there's only limit? Was that the case for you guys? Anyone can answer. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> uh, Always doing these movements. I feel like um, in a church setting, there will be a lot more. You need a kind of... Is there any limitations? There was only possibly, very, very limited yeah. with, uh, with sort of not only resources, but in what you can actually do and, and yeah. feel and say. I feel like it will be more structured. Right. Um, like a normal youth service, you'll have like, you know, your praise, worship, your mm. um, message and that kind of thing, and then connection. But what we wanted to do was just connect one-on-one um, -on -one with our community and just be on that grassroots level so we can keep everything as um, organic as possible. Um, being able to interact with people just in their own streets and, and be used and be ourselves mm, yeah. um, in terms of West Auckland people know about us out in West Auckland but we want to just take it one step at a time yeah. right. and because we started <coughs> in South Auckland we want to take over South Auckland and then we will look at expanding but um, I mean everything will be on our Facebook and Instagram pages um, especially all our um, recruitments we have um, coming up, but West Auckland is not out of our sights. Mm -hmm. It is something. Well, it's not just West Auckland. Mm -hmm. I've only just put it out there, but no, it's from saying, West Side as well. So that's let. Oh, well, I know. I originally grew <laughs> up here in South Side, but uh, moved out west. But the the p bigger picture is, let's say, you guys do the uh, do good, feel good. It's been running so well and successfully. You managed to set up all the squads throughout uh, um, uh, Okilangi. 
because a lot of our youth are out there throughout the yeah. region of Aotearoa that needs that same love and, the, yeah. and they're all the same like you guys. Is that something that amongst the pipeline that you guys been sitting around, hey, there's many of our kind that yeah. needs that same love. Is that will be the next project in the near future? So we always talk globally now. Right. Um, before, prior to having um, probably 30 plus leaders, prior to that, um, we actually had an evaluation of our years and that kind of thing and um, taking over New Zealand <coughs> was one of our goals um, but now okay. <laughs> because of what we're doing and what we're shifting um, I think it's not just ourselves as um, so I'm the sensei of the movement uh, which means I sit alongside our youth mobiliser and nice. I'm kind of that connection but for me to see our young leaders be like we're going to change the world one day um, it's practically like what we're doing on the ground is actually influencing and changing the minds of our young leaders. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that um, Killian or Millie or myself have talked about, but it's coming from our leaders. And that's something that I love is that we're not pushing them to do anything or we're not telling them, hey, it's going to be global. It's coming from their mouths. Mm. And I think we just want to do bit by bit because we don't want to burn out so quick. Because mm. once we do that, we lose who we are in that moment. But as soon as we um, probably nurture the wow. newcomers and that kind of thing, the more we can build onto that. And I think that's why it's been successful, but also why we have a mindset of changing the world one day. You yeah. said a, a good, very good point there, change of mindset. So a lot of the, the youth come out are troublemakers. So what is the one mindset and do good, good and feel ones. good that mod the motto? Oh, I'm just like, keeping it real because this is the yeah, reality yeah. Well, uh, of our youth. Makers. Well, well, it is because they, they come out, they, you know, and then when they come in to do good, feel good, there's only one motto. How do you, or how do you guys control that? Yeah, if you, uh, oh, okay, I'll put it in the nice. They're not troublemakers, <laughs> exactly. but, they're, but uh, <laughs> hey, but uh, we're keeping it real. But uh, how? What is the one <laughs> motto that do good, feel good? <laughs> Um, make them feel at home. Hey, that you know that role of responsibility again. That change that mindset that you need. Let's go see. <laughs> Get it. Anyone? Or because anyone that's oh, put it. Let's put it this way. Anyone that's come that's new and mm. doesn't know uh, anything but do good, feel good, but wants to be part of you guys. So, what is the one thing that you guys encourage them so that they feel like um, at home? Like, I think the one thing is just as soon as someone walks in the door it's um, not a matter of just shutting them off it's just being welcoming at all times nice. and I think as soon as you create that platform instead of having clicks um, in mm. different spaces because as soon as you have like clicks that. in different spaces everyone's shut off in their own corners mm -hmm. and a new person will be like okay where do I fit in it's mm. kind of like high school again whereas yeah. if we kept the space neutral which is what mm. we do within do good feel good everybody's like cool i can hang out with anyone mm -hmm. i can learn from someone i can um create something with someone so you always have somewhere to go for different things somewhere to grow in every corner of do good feel good whether nice. it's with our mobilizers system innovators or even if it's with um our top squad or our creative squad so there's always a place to go there's always a place to learn and also i've been a part of the movement for four years mm. um four and a half years and I've just seen them grow as a person when they first came in they'll be shut off but now they've they're coming they can lead they can facilitate and I think that's the kind of thing we want is we're just trying to build leaders and make them be seen as leaders as opposed to being someone from the streets. Or Do you feel that what's been missing in our youth giving them that role of responsibility yeah. as leader yeah. or to lead their, their role the way the life they should, you know, like like you said, that change of mindset, but they didn't get that. Yeah, and I think um, being a leader in our own right, we can validate ourselves with the work we do, right. mm -hmm. and we can be like, okay, our voice has created this event, our voice has created what's going on around us, and I think that's the most powerful thing is that what we're speaking is coming to life, not what someone is saying <laughs> is coming to life. So we have... Yeah, pretty much it's because it's all from us. It's mm. not from nice. someone. Mm. And I think just giving a young person that power and that space to do something they love um, 
you'll see them keep coming back because mm. you don't know what ideas they have you don't know what mm -hmm. how they want to progress or grow in life but giving them that platform they will have that space to do so mm. love it ah just always wrapping it up but um honestly Buru, you are right on that as well like I, the reason why I said troublemakers is because oh, I think when you say inclusive, like bringing everyone together in that one space is so important. And even coming into the space, it's like these mics in front of you, like what are these lights in front of you? But we're just all here for the purpose of we're one whole family. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud of you. It's like, I love it when you guys come in, new faces. <laughs> um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask again to just come and spread more love for us. I can't wait to see the mahi you guys do out there. And honestly, even when I went to Oz, they're like, far South Auckland is pumping. Mm -hmm. So keep doing it, keep spreading the light. And for those that are tuning in, if you feel connected already, you can find them on Instagram, Facebook. Feel free to come and, you know, come up to them. <laughs> they're your family and do good, feel good are here for purpose and they're here to serve but they're also here to make you feel valued and also have worth in yourself as well so they're here they've got more events coming up and this hit Saturday. them up this coming this Saturday, Saturday girl it's Saturday. not coming up it's actually this coming Saturday <laughs> <laughs> so find them on this Facebook and Instagram anyone else have anything any last acknowledgement you got any shout outs to make to the final album oh, let's go <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Yes, because he's got Mom and Dad. Shout out to my missus. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Which one? I was just saying. Aaron. <laughs> 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 Aaron's got a shout out to. <laughs> okay. I think a shout out to our Do Good Feel Good family mm -hmm. out there making change, being there. Shout out to Killian and Mele. Oh, yeah. Yo. Shout out to the DGFG fans. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. my fans are who's watching. <laughs> Shout out to you, Karnak. Shout out to all the old people who listen to this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> to the aunties. All the mamas and the papas. <laughs> oh. Yo. Anyone else? That's it. Well, there you have a fam. Do good, feel good. Are uh, here. You can catch this live. We're going to be adding the links as well. Uh, and make sure you tune in for more. This coming Saturday, you can find the links to their page. But we love you. And that's us. This Yo. is Do Good, Feel Good. Kakite. Bye. Sweet. <laughs> Just grab a photo of you.